Virgo, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson. Welcome to Dent TV. All right, Virgo. I'm just uh, putting the cards over some burning Palo Santo. All right. What do you need to know about love, Virgo? What okay, says the universe got for you in love? Remember, my loves these general readers, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also purchase them via my website, gencvtarot.com, or if you join my channel. Each has its own perks, but the best price would probably be from Patreon. But okay, what do you need to know about that? Okay, what do you need to know about love? One more, all right. I need a good shuffle today, Virgo. Wish fulfillment. It's the overall vibe. So, what you wishing for? Oh, manifesting it in, my loves. Gee whiz! What the heck? <laughs> Okie dokie. All right. It ain't over yet. Did the fat lady sing yet? Mm -mm. So the overall vibe, we've got the Nine of Cups, that's wish fulfillment, and the Magician. This is manifesting in what you desire. This is what you need to know right now. For once harmony, happiness, marriage, celebration. We've got the 1111 manifesting. See, you're manifesting hard there. What does Virgo need to know right now? Wow, this is amazing. So things have sucked in the past. I can relate to that. It's been difficult to find your path to make life work. That all looks like that's about to change. Now you've got love coming in, but this is not your forever love. This love's going to teach you something about walking away from this. This love's going to teach you about what you want. Harmony, marriage maybe, stability. This love's going to teach you that. This is a love that's coming in. think you have karma with this person. I think that, um, I don't think this person's going to break your heart, Virgo. I don't think they're going to break your heart, but I don't think it's going to be your big love. I don't think, no, I don't think they're going to break your heart. I don't think it's a big love. I, I think it's uh, a wonderful love that is kind and gentle but not right it's not it's it's there, there there'll be something between you I, with this knight of cups uh and the there was the world right i saw the world i'm sure i saw the world i feel like there's distance between you did I see that I put the world up, didn't I? Let me know in the comments. I totally held up the world. I'm sure I did. It was at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's distance between you and that's what's not right about it. This is someone who's going to come into your life and uh, give you hope. And 
and uh, I, I sort of feel like it's gonna be more of a a loving deep friendship with a sort of underlying there's more than that it's almost like there's an agreement between you that even though there's more than that I feel like the distance between you it's sort of like let's be grown-ups about this there's distance between us though this can't be or a difference between us so that this can't be but there's a kindness and a warmth between you that uh it's lovely it's not your big love i don't see it as being your big love honestly i think that um there is somebody else for them who has broken their heart just looking at them i'll get to that There's karma between them and someone else. And there's more of a story for you, Virgo. What else do you need to know? Um, there's a, a feeling of so this person's wiser. Maybe older, maybe wiser. With the Ten of Pentacles here. Um, not wiser than you, but older and wiser. I don't know. I don't. I don't mean that in a bad way. The this ten of pentacles is interesting because you're being blocked off from this love. This is, I think, were there not distance between you or a big difference between you that that can't be overcome? Yes, you could. This could be a very wonderful relationship for you but um the it's you, you can't overcome what this is and i think you both get it into your heads so like yep that could be awesome but it's not going to be not in this lifetime but i think that you teach each other With this high priestess here for you, I feel like you're going to learn something from this person. Things about yourself will be revealed to you. Things, you know, about what you really truly desire in your life. There's a warmth and a wisdom and a kindness and a love um, that is... I don't know, I just can't see uh, as much as all of those wonderful, lovely things are there. It's not your big love. But I think that this person will always hold a very special place in your heart and vice versa. They, they will teach you something very valuable. As, as you will too. I think there are other people involved. I think definitely for them, there's somebody, perhaps a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn that isn't you. Um, there's just obstacles in the way to you and this person being together, but that's the way it's supposed to be. I think that there's gonna be a little bit of like, oh man, this is amazing, why can't it be? But um this is a person you can have a grown-up conversation with. There's no tantrums and stamping their little feet and I want this. There's none of that. This is a grown-up person who um, you have an understanding with and you can talk to and you can confide in. And trust. But they're, they're not for you. It's very unconventional. But I think you both see it for what it is.
I see you and this person um, actually falling very much in love with each other. Uh, but not in a conventional way as well. It's again, it's like it, it's not something that you will have to walk away from. It's just, uh, I, I'm seeing like it doesn't make sense. We can't be together. You're there, I'm here, you know. Um, You've got this. I, I I can't drop this. There's 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 thing there's obstacles in the way, and that's the way it's supposed to be. And I don't see you fighting about it. I don't see you causing conflict with each other. It's I, I see you holding each other and maybe crying in each, each other's arms and saying this is wonderful and beautiful, and I'm here for you, even though I can't be here for you. You know, it's uh. just not meant to be in that way but it's meant to be in another you're supposed to teach each other something in this life what's coming up the star this relationship will give you hope for the future your new beginning So we've got the star, we've got your new beginning. Taking it slowly, no conflicts. I do just feel that it's not with them though. I really feel like this is like a, a mentor or something or a muse coming into your life and they're wonderful and it's uh, um, I don't know, I feel like you can really truly fall very much in love with someone and it not be romantic. And I think if there's romance between you, there's not an awful lot of it. Uh, it's uh, intimacy between you, should I say? If there's there's that, there's not an awful lot of it. There, it's it's deeper than intimacy. Um, I think that when you see other people, there's an understanding there that, you know, I'm seeing, I'm see, silly, I'm seeing a, a film, Weird Science, and yep, yeah, it's a great fun film and everything, but right at the end, the guys have uh, found girlfriends and they're happy and they're in love, and she's just... You know, she came into their lives to help them move them forwards from being the nerds and the geeks and not having any friends and not living their lives. And she came in and stirred it all up and helped them live their lives and, and uh, gave them their path. And she said, you know, of course I'm hurt. I just, I'm just getting off on seeing you happy. That's what I really want. Oh my god, I'm gonna ball crying. Ah, this is beautiful. This is how this person sees you, and this is how you see them. You love them, and they love you, but you just want each other to be happy, and there's just an understanding that it's not with each other. Oh my god, this is, this is beautiful. And I think that when you are happy and you're with somebody and it's your big love, it's your soulmate, they're just going to be so stoked for you. They're just going to be like, that's amazing. And they're just going to want to give you a big hug and say, go on, mate, go for it. And it's pure, that big hug that they give you. There's no sort of like um, possessiveness in it or or uh, ulterior motives.
and they want and wish and hope that you uh, love them in the same way. The best that you can hope for. Um, and now we've got the Four of Cups, but it's in reverse. Now, the Four of Cups is like, it's a gift from the universe. So I'm thinking that that's a, like a soulmate connection. But this is in reverse, so it's just, it's not meant to be. This gift from the universe, you can't keep it. It's not going to be easy. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard not. It's going to be, it's like you're going to have to teach yourself how to have a relationship and love this person purely. It's there's there's a purity to it. Um, this is the Three of Pentacles is about um, teamwork and building from a new foundation up properly, building it right. Strength. I think that you and this person are going to give each other that. You've both been broken down by other people, and I think that. This is, uh, I don't know, a starting block. The, the beginning of this foundation so that you, you uh, have somebody that you can trust in your life. That, yeah, there's a romantic connection between you, a deep romantic connection between you, but I don't see an awful lot of intimacy. I don't, I think that... There's a lot of love, but the other side of things is just like, that's, that's not for us. I think like if you do, it might be once or twice and it'll be freaking awesome. But I mean, I'm even like, whoo, <laughs> quivering all over. But uh, there's just this understanding between you. That's like, I see you crying and holding each other and saying like, I'm, I'm here for you, but I can't be here for you. And I love you, but I can't be with you. And uh, all I want is for you to be happy. They're, they are very much in love with somebody else. I think they have a twin flame connection. King of Pentacles here for that. Someone who's broken their heart. And they're trying to uh, move away from it. Is it a twin flame connection? I'm seeing it. I don't know why. Um, they're trying to move away from it. Whatever it is, they're trying to release this they can't release it but they're really trying to they're it's a relationship that's helping them grow there's obstacles in the way to them being with this person is it a twin flame connection yes death Whatever it is that they have with this other person, they're never getting back. It's completely over. But uh, I don't think that they are emotionally over them. There's too many obstacles between them, but they can't let it go and they're really trying to. Self-imposed prison. Let's have a look. So the outcome here is the Nine of Wands in reverse. Sorry, my phone's ringing. Luckily, you can't hear it. No caller ID, I'm not answering it. Can you stop ringing? Hold on. There we go. 
Why is the nine of wands in reverse here for the outcome? I'm going to take this into extended after this, but I'm going to ask about them. How do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe? I'll even look, I think I'll have a look at what sign they might be. What's their star sign? What kind of uh, person are they? Why is the nine of wands in reverse for the outcome here? The sun and we got judgment. This is apologies. Um, it was a doctor's appointment. Uh, nothing serious, everything's fine. You get to my age, you got to get things checked out. Um, right, so nine of wands are over. Yes, you have a deep connection with this person. Yes, it's it's meant to be. It's it's uh, like judgment. It, it's. I just feel like there. This is something that you do for each other, in all the lives you've had and all the lives you're gonna have. Is you step in when it's time, and here you are. Here I am. I'm the person that you need me to be right now. You know, it's sort of what it's meant to be. But then there's the tower in reverse. I, I, I just don't think that this is the big change in your life. That that uh, I just think that I just really cannot see a future with this person. I think that maybe the only future that you have is that you're always going to be friends. Uh, closest of friends even if you don't speak to each other for five years and you see them this is a person you'll always be able to hug and uh spend a great day with having the most fun talking about everything um uh, a beautiful deep affectionate loving friendship i think that's all it can ever really be Sorry, I'm just moving my keyboard out of the way. I'm going to take it in six and I'm going to ask about them for you. But uh, as far as I can see, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not your next big relationship. A personal issue reaches resolution. Okay. So something that's been going on for you that's been difficult, it's, it's going to get better soon. Oops. Everything works if you let it, if you let it in your heart. She's the girl of his dreams, he will turn he thinks, forget it. Cheap trick, everything works if you let it. One of my favourite songs. Alright, I'm going to take this into extended. Thank you for joining me. See you later.